This is a tale that you humans have passed down through uncounted generations. It tells of a war of unmatched scale and ferocity, the likes of which would never be seen again. One dark, fateful day, the earth cracked wide and malevolent forces rushed forth from the fissure. They mounted a brutal assault upon the surface people, driving the land into deep despair. They burnt forests to ash, choked the land's sweet springs, and murdered without hesitation. They did all this in their lust to take the ultimate power protected by her grace, the Goddess. The power she guarded was without equal. Handed down by gods of old, this power gave its holder the means to make any desire a reality. Such was the might of the ultimate power that the Old Ones placed it in the care of the Goddess. To prevent this great power from falling into the hands of the evil swarming the lands, the Goddess gathered the surviving humans on an outcropping of Earth. She sent it skyward, beyond the reach of the demonic hordes, beyond even the clouds, With the humans safe, the goddess joined forces with the land dwellers and fought the evil forces, sealing them away. At last, peace was restored to the surface. This is a tale that you humans have told for many ages, generation to generation. But there are other legends, long hidden away from memory, that are intertwined with this tale. Now, a new legend bound to this great story stands ready to be revealed. A legend that will be forged by your own hand.
for this to link. for you to awaken. Link. Hey, sleepyhead. I know how much you like to sleep in, so I'm guessing this letter will be your alarm clock this morning. Did I guess right? Rise and shine, Link! Today's the wing ceremony! You promised to meet me before it starts, remember? You'd better not keep me waiting. Zelda. <laughs> Good morning, Link. I'm glad to see my Loftwing got you out of bed. <laughs> I was pretty sure you'd sleep in and forget to meet me this morning. But look at this instrument, and look at this outfit. They're mine to use today in the ceremony, since I'll be playing the role of the goddess. Aren't they beautiful? Especially this instrument. They tell me it's just like the one the goddess was said to have in the legends. It sounds gorgeous, too. I asked Father about it, and he says it's called a harp. And look at these clothes! I made this wrap myself, and we get to use it in today's ceremony. Between the harp and this outfit, I'm going to make a great goddess today. I got you up early this morning because I wanted you to be the first to see me like this, Link. <laughs> so, how do I look? <laughs> I think so, too. But it's nice to know you agree. <laughs> Thanks, Link. Ah, there you are, Zelda. Are you all prepared for today's ceremony? Oh, hello, Father. Ah, Link, you're here, too. <laughs> Outstanding. It's encouraging to see you up so early, given your capacity for sleep. No doubt today's ceremony had you too excited to close your eyes for once. If you win today's ceremonial race, you'll get to participate in the post-race ritual with Zelda. So give it your best out there. Yes, about that. Father, Ugh. I don't know if he can do it! Recently, Link hasn't been practicing much at all for the ceremony. And even when he's out riding his loft wing, he's just lazily gliding around, probably daydreaming. I don't know what he's thinking. He's going to have to be in perfect control of his bird to win today. No need to worry yourself, Zelda. Though you may have a point. 
Today's wing ceremony tests the skill of the rider as well as his bond to his bird. Victory will not come easily. And, as you pointed out, I haven't seen him practicing as hard as some of the other students. But you've known him since you were both very little. You should know better than to fret about him. You see, Link and his loft wings share a special connection. I've never seen anything quite like it. As you know, each of us in Skyloft is but one half of a pair. We are only made whole by our loft wings, the guardian birds that the goddess bestows upon each of us as a symbol of her divine protection. When we are young, every one of us meets our loft wing under the great statue of the goddess. It's quite a big moment, as I'm sure you recall. Ah, but that first meeting between Link and his Loftwing was extraordinary. The bird that came to him was a Crimson Loftwing. It is a breed so rare we were sure for some time that it had vanished from the line. Yes, and the boy and his bird seemed to share a profound connection from the moment they met. Do you recall when Link and that Loftwing of his first met? What a sight! The little boy just hopped on that bird and gracefully flew away, without even a moment of instruction. They were meant for each other. And judging by how jealous you were that day, I'd say the friendship he shared with his bird didn't go unnoticed by you, my dear. Hmm. Huh? Ah, but who can blame you? <laughs> I'm sure you weren't the only one envious of the powerful bond shared by Link and his bird. Anyone who is a part of something special is bound to catch some nasty looks sooner or later. <laughs> hmm. This contest is nothing to laugh at, Father. This ceremony is part of the final test for those training to become Knights of Skyloft. If Link doesn't fly fast enough during the race... What if Link messes up his big chance? What if he's not allowed to become a knight? Calm down, my dear. It will be fine. Honestly, it's almost as though you become a completely different person when you worry about Link. Hmm. Listen, Link. You'd better fly your heart out today. At the very least, you need to squeeze in a little practice time before the race. Come on! You'll thank me later. Here we are. Go on now. Jump off the edge and call your lock wing. It's almost time for the ceremony, so try to practice seriously for once. Hmm? Oh yeah? You can't sense your bird out there? Oh, I get it. You're trying to weasel out of having to practice. Nice try, but you're not fooling me. Off you go! <laughs> hmm. His bird sure is taking a long time to get here. <sighs> Something's wrong! Are you two all right? I'm sorry, friend. I didn't mean to push you so hard. You didn't spray your wing, did you? This is very odd, Link. What could have possibly happened to your loft wing? For a bird to ignore the call of his master, it's unheard of. And you still can't sense your bird nearby, eh, Link? This is quite a problem, especially considering the wing ceremony is about to start. Link, when you said you couldn't sense your loft wing, well, I should have believed you. 
I'm sorry. I need to tend to my own Loftwing, so I'll catch up with you later. You'd better go on ahead and see if you can find where your bird has gone. get to be so late. If I recall correctly, this year Instructor Horwell is presiding over the ceremony. Link, you should go explain the situation to him, and see if he's willing to delay the race a little so that you can find your bird. <laughs> but father, you're the headmaster of the academy. If Link asks Instructor Horwell, he'll probably just come talk to you about it. Ah, quite true. As usual, you make an excellent point, my dear. Very well. I'll explain the situation to him myself. Link, run along and tell Instructor Horwell to come see me in my quarters. What's wrong, Link? You're looking a little pale. What? Your loft wing is missing? Oh, how strange and troubling. Do you think you can find him? You're going to start looking for him now? How will you make it back in time to fly in the ceremony? Ah, uh, it looks like your participation in the ceremony hinges on feather or not you can find that bird on time. Ahem. <clears throat> Excuse me. I see. So the headmaster has summoned me? All right then. I'll go speak with him immediately. You know, Groose, that sure was a pain, what with all the scratching and pecking. Course it was. You thought a big crimson loft wing like that was gonna go down without a fight? But we got him. And I don't care how tough those birds are supposed to be. He's not getting out of that pen anytime soon, boys. Link! So, uh, yeah. Just how long you been standing there? What's your problem, anyway? Oh, wait. I got it. You're here to talk about today's race. I can see it in those dopey eyes of yours. They're pleading, Oh, Groose, can you please find it in your heart to let me win today, please? You're just desperate to win so you can get some alone time with Zelda up on the statue of the goddess at the end of the ceremony. Well, sorry, pal. Bruce doesn't do charity for whips. My advice? Work hard and wish with all your heart. You might even come in second. Say, come to think of it, how come I don't see your bird? Where is that scruffy pile of red feathers? I can't imagine what could have happened to him. Do you think his tiny brain got confused by all the clouds and got lost? You lay off my do right now or I'll flatten you. Everyone knows I've got the slickest pompadour in town. You know, we're all getting tired of how you never let anyone forget you and Zelda go way back. You've been friends since you were kids? Big deal. It doesn't change the fact that you float through life with your head in the clouds. Would you wake up, straighten up, and grow a backbone already? Dopes like you are dragging our honored academy through the mud. And just who might you be talking about, Groose? Oh, Zelda. Hey, nah, it's, uh... Uh. Hmm. Don't even try it, Groose. You're picking on Link again, aren't you? He's a student at the Academy, like all of us. Why do you insist on bullying him around so much? Yeah, I suppose. You suppose? Suppose what? I suppose you. Yeah. <laughs>
Forget it. I wasn't supposing anything, okay? Okay, we're out of here, boys. Later, Link! Hope you find your bird, or else you're gonna have to sit out today's race. That could be a major setback toward knighthood, so find that bird or get real used to the taste of failure. It's your special flavor! <laughs> I hate to say it, but I'm beginning to suspect that those blockheads had something to do with your Loftwing's disappearance. Link, those guys aren't going to help us find your bird, so we'd better start searching. I'll fly around Skyloft and see if I can spot any trace of your bird. Father said he talked to Instructor Horwell about delaying the start of the wing ceremony, so don't worry, we'll find your bird in time. What's up, Link? You seem to be in a hurry. What's this about your bird? Oh, that unusual crimson loftwing. Have I seen him? I'm sorry, I haven't. Why don't you look for him by the statue of the goddess? You'll have a good view of the whole town from way up there. Hey! Link! Over here! I have some information about your loftwing. Come over here! Hey, Link. I was just looking for you. I heard your Loftwing has gone missing, so I thought I'd join in the search. And get this, when I asked Fledge what he knew, he started acting weird. I'm so sorry, Link. I really wanted to tell you, but if Groose found out I told you... It sounds like Groose forced him to keep quiet about it. Go on. Tell him the truth. Just a little while ago, when I was cleaning the dining hall, Groose and his buddies came in. They didn't notice I was there and started talking about their plan to hide your Loftwing. I wanted to warn you, Link, but just as I tried to sneak away, Groose and his gang grabbed me. They said that if I told you, they'd make sure I would never be able to ride a bird ever again. It sounds like Groose and his buddies had a plan to capture your bird and hide him near a waterfall. Well... Near a waterfall would mean... Quick, let's take a look at your map. That's it! Right there! I think it means the waterfall marked here with X. Forgive me, Link. I can't help being such a coward. I'm really sorry. One more thing, Link! If you're going out to the waterfall, remember that there are some dangerous things there. Creepy crawly things. You'll need to carry a sword. I think I saw the Knight Commander go into the sparring hall a while ago. You should go ask him if you can borrow one. Hey, it's Link! So you still want to get in some sword practice, even though today is the wing ceremony? I'm impressed. The sword is in the back room. Go on back there and get it. Hey, Link! You can't take swords outside of the sparring hall. What do you think you're doing sneaking out with that? What? Your Loftwing is missing. You want to go look for it? Well, I guess I can make an exception just this once. But remember that Skyloft is a peaceful place. Only knights carry swords. Link, 
I was hoping I'd find you here. I heard you'd gone searching for your bird around the waterfall, so I thought I'd fly around and help you look. How's your search going? Any sign of your loft wing? Oh no. Well, let's not lose hope yet. There's a place up ahead that Garus and his gang are always hanging around. Maybe we'll find something there. Huh? Who... Who's that? Who's calling for me? Oh, sorry, Link. I got distracted for a moment. Let's go. Uh. Look! There he is! No doubt about it. That's your loft wing, Link! Now that your loft wing is free, you should fly to the ceremony. But before you go, I have to ask you something. I... I heard this voice a few moments ago. Did you hear it too? It's been happening a lot lately. It's the strangest feeling. Almost like someone is calling out to me. Have you ever wondered what's beneath the clouds? Some say that it's an empty, barren place, or even that there's nothing at all down below. But I just have this feeling that they're wrong. Some of Father's old texts talk about a place called the surface. The old tales describe a whole world under there, far more vast than Skyloft. The thing is, no one's ever been down there to see it. And our loft wings won't fly through the cloud barrier. But I can't help imagining the wild things that might be waiting below. Someday, I want to see it for myself. Oh, sorry, Link. We don't have time to talk. Let's get going. Look, your bird's waiting for you. Loftwing really is amazing, especially considering everything the poor guy has been through this morning. I'm going to fly back and tell Father what happened. Well, well, if it isn't Link. Word around the plaza is you found that dumb bird of yours. Well, that's just great, because you and your dumb bird can't tell time. All the pre-race warm-ups me and the guys did were for nothing. Now I'm all stiff. We've been waiting forever for the race to start, and they delay it for you? I don't get it. The big flight gets special treatment? You're almost a man, and yet you still can't seem to go anywhere without Zelda. I bet you can't even decide what to have for lunch on your own. Huh. And don't think we haven't noticed the smug looks. Oh, Zelda and I are best friends! We go everywhere together! Ugh. You think you're pretty suave, don't you? Well, don't you? Cruz has been going on forever about how he's gonna be the one to be with Zelda. He's really got his pompadour in a ruffle about her. <laughs> 
I hate to break it to you, but today's the day I bust up this adorable little fantasy land you're living in. Zelda's playing the role of the goddess at today's ceremony, and I'm gonna be the one to claim that sailcloth. When I heard she made it herself, man, no way was I gonna let some scrawny clown snatch that prize from me. Oh yes, that sailcloth. Zelda's sailcloth will be mine. <laughs> oh man, I bet she was thinking about me when she was stitching it. Yep, I can see it now. First, I win the big race, and then Zelda and I finish the ceremony together on the statue. Just the two of us. It'll be our special moment alone. Nobody is stopping me and Zelda from having our moment. Oh, it's so real, I can... I can see it! <laughs> oh, yeah! Boots! Psst! Goose! Behind you! Right behind you! What? Can't you two see I'm in the middle of... <laughs> Care to explain just what you meant by our special moment alone? I... Um, uh, nothing big, really. Just, um, uh, just... Link! Yeah! I was just telling my buddy here how glad I was he found that red bird of his. Boy, am I looking forward to a fair race. Anyhow, later, Zelda. Look for me during the race. I'll be the one pulling off all the dangerous moves. Hey, Groose! Wait up! Did you hear that guy? A fair race? Yeah, the chances of that happening are just about less than zero. Either way, don't let those fools get you down, Link. Just get out there and fly the best you can. I know you've got these guys beat. And deep down, I think you do too. That's the spirit, Link. Trust me, you can win this. The wing ceremony will now begin. Participating students, please assemble. Looks like it's race time. Good luck, Link. Your attention, please. At last, we are ready to begin the wing ceremony. I was beginning to worry that we'd have to proceed without Link, but luckily, that is no longer a concern. I'm glad you could all make it. Before we start, I'll explain the rules for today's competition. I have attached a small statuette to this bird, who I will then release to the skies. Whoever catches the bird and claims the statuette will be this year's champion. As you well know, today's champion will graduate to the next class, bringing him one step closer to knighthood. He will also receive a gift from the young woman chosen to play the role of the goddess in this year's ritual. Today is a special day for many reasons, but it is also the 25th anniversary of our fine institution. To celebrate the occasion, today's champion shall also receive his gift high atop the statue of the goddess. I hear the young woman performing the role of the goddess this year has crafted the gift herself. And as you all well know, the role of the goddess this year will be performed by... the <laughs> lovely Zelda. Let's see your finest flying out there. Show me just how hard you've been practicing. Also, I want to see good, clean flying. Anyone caught interfering with other riders will answer to me. That goes double for you, Groose. All right. Gentlemen, line up. At my command, the competition will begin. Go! Don't you know this is my day to get all the glory? 
at you grabbed in the race. I must offer it to the goddess. and protector of our people. Grant us your blessing and mercy as I act in your stead during this ceremony. Valiant youth who grasped victory at the celebration of the bird folk in accordance with the old ways, I now bestow the blessings of the goddess upon you. Blessings of the goddess drift down from the heavens aloft a sail, which I now pass on to you. <laughs> Link, quit goofing. This is supposed to be a sacred ritual, remember? You know, they say that the goddess gave the sailcloth to her chosen hero long ago. Of course, the one you're holding isn't the same one. I've been working hard to finish making this sailcloth in time to give it to today's champion. I'm really glad I got to give it to you, Link. Make sure you take good care of it, okay? Thanks for making it up here to do this with me today like you promised, Link. <laughs> <laughs> now, we really should finish up this ritual. You... Do you know what happens at the end, right? <laughs> I'm glad you're so well informed on the subject. Uh. Mm? <laughs> you have to jump off the statue! Look down. See that big, round design on the courtyard below? To finish the ceremony, you need to drop down right in the center of it. Just how brave are you? If you were really fearless, you'd wait until the last second to use your sailcloth. So, ready to jump? Ha! Uh, uh, uh! how you won today. 
And with the weather being so nice... Uh. You think maybe you'd like to... You know... Go fly around the clouds together? Watching you win the race and performing the ritual together? I'll always remember this. It really was wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Link... There's something I've been meaning to talk to you about. When your loft wing carried you back, you were limp and unconscious. I feared the worst. Fortunately, you don't appear to have any serious injuries. For that much we can be grateful. <clears throat> but Link, where's Zelda? She was with you, was she not? What's happened to my daughter? Black tornado, you say? Hmm. That was no ordinary storm. You must not push yourself. You're still recovering. Tell me, when you saw Zelda today, did anything about her seem... off? I see. She was talking about the surface then. And you've been having dreams about a great mission? How interesting. I'm sorry. I was lost in thought there for a moment. It's all very strange, but I doubt there's much of a connection between these things. I'm concerned for Zelda, but so long as she's with her Loftwing, I'm sure she'll be fine. Either way, daybreak has yet to arrive. It would be very difficult to spot one girl and her bird in the dark of night. It would also be very dangerous. Rest now, Link. Zelda's going to be fine. She's out there alive. 
I know it. Link. Follow me, Link. Follow me. Follow me, Link. Follow me. One chosen by my creator, I have been waiting for you. You will play a role in a great destiny. According to your social customs, I should provide you with my personal designation. Bai is the name I was given. I was created for a single purpose long before the recorded memory of your people. I must aid you in fulfilling the great destiny that is your burden to carry. Come, Link. You must take up this sword. As the one chosen by my creator, it is your destiny. Uh. The strange dreams troubling your sleep. My sudden appearance. Uncertainty surrounding the fate of one you hold dear. Under the circumstances, it is only logical that you would exhibit some apprehension. Uh. To minimize your uncertainty, allow me to share some information. My projections indicate that this information has a high probability of altering your current emotional state. The one you seek, Honorable Zelda, is still alive. <laughs> and this spirit maiden, the one you call Zelda, is another chosen one fated to be part of the same great mission. Therefore, should you wish to meet with your friend, I highly recommend you take up this sword before you set out to search for her. Does that information invigorate you? Are you ready to accept this sword? <laughs> it seems that further persuasive measures will not be required. In the name of my creator, draw the sword and raise it skyward. Recognition complete, Master. Link, my master. Link! I've had my suspicions, but until now I wasn't sure. Yet here we are in the Chamber of the Sword, the very place where it was foretold the youth of legend would one day appear. It is said that this place was left to our people by the goddess herself. The very knowledge of this room's existence is a secret passed down to a select few each generation, along with a handful of words. 
When the light of the goddess's sword shines bright, the great apocalypse will wake from its long slumber. Do not fear, for it is then that a youth, guided by my hand, shall reveal himself in a place most sacred. It started days ago. The sword that I've kept secret all these years, it began to give off a faint, otherworldly light. At first I was sure I was seeing things, here alone with the sword. There was simply no other explanation. I never dreamed the prophecy of legend would come to pass in my lifetime. The words I have sworn to keep secret are coming true before my very eyes. The youth will be guided by one born of the blade, one who is also youthful in likeness, yet wise with knowledge immeasurable. Ah, yes, the oral tradition, one of the least reliable methods of information retention and transmission. It appears that critical sections of the passage have been lost over the generations. Huh? The youth who draws forth the Guiding Sword shall be known as the Goddess's Chosen Hero, and it is he who possesses an unbreakable spirit. He shall be burdened with the task of abolishing the shadow of Apocalypse from the land. Such is his destiny. With the spirit of the blade at his side, he shall soar over the clouds and plummet below. And united with the Spirit Maiden, shall bring forth a piercing light that resurrects the land. Some of Father's old texts talk about a place called the Surface. The old tales describe a whole world below, far more vast than Skyloft. Master, you must embark on a great journey beneath the clouds to the vast realm of the Surface. It is only through this journey that you can fulfill the mission set before you by my creator, the Goddess. It is also the only method available for you to reunite with the Spirit Maiden, Honorable Zelda. This is no easy task, Link. The world below is a forsaken place. And to reach it, you must pierce the cloud barrier below. In living memory, no one has ever done this. This tablet will illuminate a path through the clouds to the land below. Take it and place it within the altar behind me. Master, the first thing you must do is hit the crest sitting in this room with a skyward strike. These blasts are formed of pure energy that charges within your blade when you lift it skyward. Once you have charged your blade, face the crest and swing your sword to send out a powerful skyward strike. Master Link, it is done. Until now, a cloud barrier created by the goddess has separated the world you know from the one below. The tablet you placed in the altar has opened a small rift in the barrier. You can use it to travel through the clouds to the realm below. I have recognized you as my master, and so it is my duty to follow you wherever you may go. Link, listen a moment. The nature of the Great Apocalypse mentioned in the old texts is a complete mystery to me. 
but whatever it turns out to be, it seems that both you and Zelda have big roles to play in the destiny of this land. Just think, if what this spy says is true, Zelda is alive. Alive and no doubt coming to terms with whatever it is the goddess has in store for her. Should you heed the call of destiny, I don't know what dangers you may have to face, Link. Especially down there. But if you've decided to brave the unknown, please find my daughter and bring her back to me. What we've seen here today defies explanation, but it is only the start of your journey. Please, see it through and prove the legends true. Ah, I'm sorry, Link. I know it's a heavy load to shoulder, but you're the only one who can bear its weight. Dawn is drawing near. It has been a long night for the both of us, hasn't it? You have a great journey before you, Link. And those clothes... They don't look up to the task. The uniform you were to receive for winning the race should be ready by now. A sturdy uniform like that will prove much more suitable for a long journey. You had better change before you go. That green uniform is what our knights will be wearing this year. To be honest, I've had my doubts about the color. But oddly enough, seeing you wear this uniform, I can't imagine a more fitting color for you. It's as though you were born to wear it. <laughs> 